so um i've got a friend and i'm starting to make her like this gift i'm making us matching rings and then i've made they're my loom bands by the way i've got to get them in a bow but you know oh well um made these little rings for us i'm nearly finished this one though <laughs> and they don't take long at all i'm gonna give you a loom band tutorial <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hang on, I got one more to put on, and then I'll give you the tutorial. Like, these rings don't take long. Like, yeah. Ten. So, do, 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 do. Okay, so I finished it. So, matching rings are done. So, now I'm going to give you a tutorial. The other day, I was trying to get my colours out. And accidentally lifted one of the things out. Now I've got a whole middle section that's gone, so I'm gonna show you as many of those colours to try and drain them down. Because you know, like, <laughs> it was this box actually. So, what colours I'm gonna use is I just need to see if they have any on the side of them. Okay, I can't see any, so yeah, I'll teach you how to make a ring. Okay, so it's not going to take long, because it don't take long to make one. Just so get your first colour, do as many colours as you want. It. My, mm, I don't really do a lot of colours on rings, because yeah, I'm doing three colours. <laughs> Three colours. I've chosen pink, blue, and it's purple and blue. So you want to get your Y hook, or you can use two of your fingers. I'll do another video on how to do your fingers. So yeah. So first, you want to get your starting colour. Go like, get it, then you twist it to make this shape. It makes a little X in the middle. Then you get your. I'm only gonna do a single loom. Cause yeah, so then I'm gonna get your blue, and then hang on, ready? Just go like this, over, and then you can use hooks, or you don't need to. But I know I never. It's easier. Huh? When I'm using my black ones, they're quite thick, so yeah, I use a crochet hook. So you just lift it over, and then you grab it, and then you put the S hook on. And it should look like this. Now we're going to add your third colour and then just keep repeating that process. And then go back to your first colour, add it on, keep going. Just keep going. Look, that's what it's like so far. Then get your third colour, put it on. I normally do ten for a ring because like it's easier. One, three, four, five, six. Four more left. Seven. Nine, hang on, hang on, let me just count again. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Done it. And then, yeah, there's your ring. Hang on, and then you just like, hang on, I'm just gonna redo that again so I can show you. Hang on, give me a second. So it's like this, then you just pinch one end 
and take it round so it's like this and you get your S clip and then it should be like this and then you just slide it on there's your ring <laughs> oh my god they're so good I might not use this clutch as much until I sort it out so yeah if you want more videos like this just comment and then I'll do more because like I like doing this like it took me like three minutes to do this it don't take long now I did it in the bag for my friend okay for the top I did for my friends so I did these friendship rings <laughs> And I've done this bracelet. It's got blue, purple. Blue, purple. Then I've done another one with pink and green. Then I've done one with red, green and blue. Then I've got blue and black. I've got pink, white and grey. With a red S clip, then I've got black, pink, and purple. Black, pink, and purple. Then I've got this one, it's really cool, I love it. Then I've got the ring I just made. Red, orange, and green. And then, yeah, that's it. I think I'm gonna add some more. So if you want to see what I've got, comment as well. So yeah. Now if you want to know how to get like beads and that on, I'll do another video on that, so don't worry. So yeah. Um, goodbye. Peace.